think I probably got interested the way that a lot of people did. Um, I guess probably the aha moment was when I was in, I would say, probably about the 10th grade or so in, in school. Uh, I was taking a world history class. Our textbook in the back had a series of genealogical charts of the royal houses of Europe. And I remember looking at these and seeing how the different royal houses descended from people going back into you know, beyond the Middle Ages and how they were uh, interrelated to one another. And I was just fascinated by this. And then I discovered later on when I got home that we had a set of an old set of the Encyclopedia Britannica uh, that had been my grandfather's. And when you looked up the various royal houses of Europe alphabetically, there were even more detailed genealogical charts than what were in my textbook. So I was able to you know, really do an awful lot with that. I just became fascinated with genealogy. Growing up in Andover, Massachusetts, um, I was fortunate enough to have uh, two of my grandparents still alive, my father's father and my mother's mother, both of whom lived very nearby, as well as various aunts and uncles and, and great aunts and uncles. I would say by the time I was in high school, I really was starting to get interested, but really had no idea how to proceed. So I would ask my grandfather about his family background, and being the typical taciturn Yankee that he was, he just said, well, we were just Yankee farmers from Maine. And, pretty much end of subject. It wasn't that he didn't want to talk about it, he just, it wasn't anything that really interested him greatly. So he told me what he knew, which were the names of his parents and the, the names of his grandparents uh, going back into the 1800s, but that was about as far as it went. When he died, which was my freshman year in college in 1968, um, his sister, my dad's aunt, the two of them lived in the same house, and we started going through things. And one of the things that my uh, dad's aunt died, ha, uh, had, she died just a year or two later, were a couple of old family Bibles. Mm -hmm. Well, here these Bibles uh, went right back to the middle 1700s, back to a man named Aziel Ray, uh, I'm sorry, Archelaus Ray, his son, who's, uh, whose Bible was just sitting there in this bookcase. And I, you know, with lots of children's books and general interest books, many of which I had read as a kid, but I ignored these Bibles, because they were just old calfskin books that were just sitting there, and I was just blown away. And by then I was going to college in Boston, and it didn't take me long, of course, to discover the Boston Public Library. There was a set of the Register, which I had never seen before, never heard of, and very quickly I found that there was a Dearborn genealogy published in Volume 2, uh, 1848, although it didn't come down close enough for me to be able to actually tie in. Uh, but I knew that this had to be the family somehow, I just didn't know exactly how. So with that I was really off and running, and of course once I knew about the society's existence it didn't take me long to find the society itself. Very quickly I found uh, the Dearborn Manuscript, which is still here, and there was my great-grandfather right in it and was able to make that connection. And I was really hooked. I was really off and running. So that was really how I got started in genealogy and, and never have looked back. Mm -hmm.